Hi, my name is Gun Su Han. I am a faculty in the sports management program at Taos University. Today, I would like to present commitment of varsity athletes in NCAA. College athletic program have become an integral part of universities, but they also have evolved into a multi-billion dollar business. Athletic program encourages a school speed, drive enrollment, and heighten the school reputations. The program enhances an institution publicity and increase uh, private giving by alumni and community donors. Varsity athletes uh, are a critical part of a collegiate athletic program and their performance impacts economic and non-economic revenues. For athletic department success, improving varsity athletes uh, organizational commitment is usually a major concern because it directly relates to the effectiveness of their team and the reputation of the institution. So a clear understanding of the dynamics of an athletic commitment is an important part in both managing and increasing the potential revenues of an institution. Over the last 40 years, there have been a numerous conceptualization and definition of OC. One of the most cited definition today was proposed by Paul Edel. You can see their definition in the slide. In their view, at least three factors uh, characterize OC. First, a strong belief in organization's goal and value. Second, a willingness to exert a considerable effort on behalf uh, of the organization. The last, a strong desire to maintain membership. So commitment is considered a critical element that determines the success of an organization. In the mid 80s, Mayer and Allen conceptualized organization commitment as being multidimensional. They divided OC as three dimension, effective, normative, and continuous commitment. In effective commitment, employees continue employment in the organization because they want to do, they want to do so. In normative con commitment, employee ought to remain with the organization. In continuous commitment, employees with a strong continuous commitment remain because they feel they need to. As you see in this slide, researchers uh, have supported the undimensional model and two-dimensional model, but uh, Mayer and Allen's uh, three-component model has been most popular. As I mentioned in previous slide, uh, Mayer and Allen originally conceptualized continuous commitment as a unitary dimension, but uh, research has shown that it might actually be comprised of two dimension. The first is labeled high personal sacrifice, while the second is low number of alternative. CC low alternative is defined as a perceived lack of other value of employment opportunity, while CC high sacrifice is defined as a loss by leaving the organization. We used the four based of commitment in this study, effective, normative, and continuous commitment. Continuous commitment has a low alternative and a high sacrifice. Commitment research in sports management has examined uh, various valuable, such as satisfaction, uh, performance, uh, stress, tone of intention, organizational citizenship behavior and leadership. Uh, most of commitment study used a three component model or four based model. Especially uh, many recent studies related to sports management were conducted by four based model. 
based on the review of literature, we developed the five research question. First question is about measurement model of four base of commitment. And the uh, rest of them are about examining uh, the difference between division one and division two in each base of commitment. As I discussed, we used the four based of commitment model by Turner 2001. Uh, existing scale were modified. And for content validity, a panel of experts was asked to examine the questionnaires. We had a, a reliability estimate, Kromba ARPA, and the value was between 0.72 and 0.88. So all value exceed the minimum uh, criteria of 0.70. A uh, convenient sampling technique was used to select subject for this study. The sample was collected by online survey and uh, consisted of 235 varsity athletes in NCAA Division One and Division Two school. Division One include 127 varsity athletes and Division Two include 108 student athletes. The data were analyzed using the SPSS and AMOS. In order to assess psychometric properties of the measure, confirmatory factor analysis CFA were conducted using AMOS. In addition, uh, MANOVA was conducted to investigate the difference of commitment between Division One and Division Two varsity athletes. In rank order, the most important commitment of varsity athletes was effective. Mean score was 4.21, followed by normative, continuous commitment, low number of alternative, and continuous commitment, high sacrifice. All mean comparison was statistically significant. For the first research question, CFA was conducted. As is shown in this table here, all standardized loading was relatively high, range from 0.719 to 0.911, and statistically significant which mean we can confirm conversion to validity for the four base, the CFA model. The value of average variance extracted, ABE, ranged from 0.58 to 0.74, and all exceeded the criteria of 0.50 by Fornell and Locker, 1981. For discriminant validity, the estimated correlations between the four base were from 0.301 to 0.638, which is less than the recommended value of 0.85 by clean 1998. In summary, all of the model fit indice was satisfactory within the recommended threshold. The second, third, fourth, and fifth research question exam, uh, whether there are any difference between division one and division two athletes commitment depending on the four base. The interaction of division one and division two on the base of the athletic commitment was significant. Wakex Lambda score was a 0.730 and F score was 3.22, p-value was 0.041. So in a follow-up uh, univariate test, there was significant commitment difference in effective, normative, and CC low alternative base. Division one athletes were more committed to their institution due to effective and normative reasons while CC low alternative was a more important commitment for division two athletes. 
there was no significant relationship on CC high sacrifice for division one and division two. In conclusion, four constructs fit the data fairly well, indicating that the measurements are psychometrically sound and appropriate for representing the concepts. Division one athletes were more committed than in division two to their school due to affective and normative factors. Division two athletes uh, were more committed for CC, low alternative reason. As I mentioned in introduction, uh, clear understanding of the dynamic of an athletic, uh, athletic commitment is a critical component in both managing and increasing the potential revenues of an institution. With this knowledge, administrators can more effectively develop strategy and program to both maintain and expand the commitment base. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation. And if you have any question, please feel free to contact me by email at khan at Thanks again.